No time to lose. I gotta get to Will. Shit. Too late. I gotta beat him to the library. I got orders to patrol the rooftops. We already got men up there. And they want more. Take it up with Serene if you disagree. as we speak. Keep me posted. The whole sniper unit's wiped. No way he did that on his own. We need to find out who's unaccounted for. This... might be an inside job. Let's start a list of who's missing. <clears throat> what was that? I think I heard something. Search the area. Weapons free! It's him! Thank you. 
Oh no, no. <sighs> Gotta get. Stand by to detonate the library. I'm going in. Well, already gone. Lobby. Lobby, I'm running out of time. Why? Why? Who is she? Who is she? She, she knows, knows about the fracture. fracture. I, trust, I her. trust her. Glad you, Glad you trusted, trusted somebody. somebody. Well, no harm in trying. There is. That's why I can't risk you opposing me, Will. It doesn't have to end like this. Uh. Trigger. I never wanted this. Wasn't fixed. Not yet. Does it work? Theory, yes. We gotta get back to my time machine. We gotta get us back to the time where you came from. No, future. No, 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 no. It's the only we way. We need to stop the fracture here, in this time. Now. Oh, Jack, listen to me. The fracture wasn't fixed in the time where you came from. So fixing it here, it's always gonna fail. People are going to die, Will. You haven't seen what happens between now and then. No, but you have. What you have done has set in motion a chain of events that cannot be broken. Look, we don't know And if it could be broken, it could jeopardize the entire world. We get one shot at this. It's too much at stake, Jack. Look, I know the stakes, okay? Then you gotta let go, Jack. Everything you have done to get to this place is necessary. Trust me. The past is set, but the future is. This way. If what you said is true, then how did I save you? I saw you die, Will. Think, Jack. You never physically saw me die, did you? I watched a roof collapse on top of you. Creating the illusion of my death, yes. Which brought you here to make sure it remained only an illusion. It's all a loop. If time is an egg, No then... egg metaphors. We have to get out of here and get to the Bradbury. Oh, get down! Over here! Goddamn bloodbath in there. I need some air. Cleaners better get here quick. Wait, wait for them to leave. 
Now, I know it's a lot to take in, but the fact that you managed to save me and yet still maintain the illusion of my death is actually further proof of my point. The past remains intact. Nothing changes, and the Novikov self-consistency principle prevails. Oh, great. We can high-five about that later. Right. Let's save the world first. Come on. Let's meet up with the convoy. Okay, they're gone. Let's go. Huh. Surprised you actually waited. It's almost like you're listening to me. Well, the last time I didn't listen to you, the fracture occurred. Consider me open to following orders. Huh. That doesn't sound like my brother. I know. All right, through here. We Amy. can't risk helping them. I know what happens if I don't. And it'll still happen, Jack. I meant what I said back there. And there are no exceptions. If you get suckered into trying to change what can't be changed, it may cost us everything. Please, Jack. Our future depends on this. You said Monarch had the countermeasure this whole time. How? Why? Paul was using it to fuel some kind of messed up survival program. Uh huh. They must have somehow repurposed it as a localized Cronon field regulator. We have to go, Jack. We can't risk being spotted here. Yeah. I always assumed it was Beth Wilder who had the countermeasure, keeping it safe. She was the one who warned me, told me to build it. I know. You met her. Is she helping us? She was. Ah, I see. Come on, this place isn't safe. <laughs> oh, shit, shit! Can't stop here. Oh shit, watch out.
Look, I know I've kept you in the dark. But when I started my work, you were so young, and afterwards, I always hoped it would all pass you by without touching you. Yeah. I get it. Come on. Let's just go to the future and fix this mess. Amy was so worried about somebody getting here before us when we spotted the cab. But it was us all along. I hope she made it out okay. Here's the entrance. Hey, Jack. We should go inside. There. It's locked. You hid the machine here. You really never used it yourself? No, I didn't dare. Not after the men came out. It was Paul. He tried to kill me. <clears throat> Damn. Rusted shut. Jack, a hand? One more time. When Monarch came for the time machine at the university, Paul was trapped in it. He escaped into the future. Whatever happened to him there changed him. Somehow he found my machine there and used it to come back to 1999. And found in Monarch. He escaped from Monarch and became what he escaped from. Insanity. I never should have built the machine. I should have left well enough alone. Just the way I left. Hope it still works. Yeah. All right, we'll go to the future. A little after your time of departure, before the fracture has stopped time permanently. I don't know, I'm a, I'm a little concerned about this. It'll be dangerous. Of course it'll be dangerous. At this point, what isn't? But I have been curious to try this. Jack, when we exit, it'll be a little past the point you were at when you left to save me. That's our window, when we know it can work, but before time actually ends for good. It may not be much of a window. Monarch was sure it was imminent. Huh. Like they're experts. They kind of are. All they know they stole from me. You worry about your end, I'll worry about mine. All right, well, that works. This is amazing. All those years, I never imagined that it would be like this. Crap. Hang on, Will. What the hell did you do? Bigger than the two of us. You know time's about to stop for good. Yes, it is. 
Hence the lifeboat program. A bunch of desperate people sitting around in a bunker somewhere waiting for the inevitable? Jesus, Paul. You stole the CFR, Jack. I stole it? And the plan depends on it. So... I'll take that back now, please. I can't do that. I know.
Never mind. Tell me later. We got work to do. I'll have to hook up the countermeasure to the core. It's designed to hypersaturate the Maya Joyce field with chronon particles. The time machine's like an amplifier. That'll cause a chain reaction and rejuvenate the field. It'll be a universal event. I'll take your word for it. Just make it happen. Jack, give me a hand with this. What do you need? The countermeasure's charge is low. We'll need a jolt of chronon particles. A jump start. That's you. Countermeasure. It stitched time back together everywhere. <coughs> the destruction couldn't be undone. The lies we lost were real. But we fixed it. Jack. <sighs> Will. Clocks kept on ticking. Come on. Come on. <sighs> I think we just saved the universe. Yeah. Where's Paul? He's dead. It's gone. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Will, he was wrong about everything. Was he? Will. The countermeasure worked. Whoa. The countermeasure burned out. Should be stable now. Of course, I'll have to run a few tests to confirm. But this, well, there's no reason to believe that the fracture isn't over. One more question. Paul Serene's entire philosophy was that time is a set path, and nothing can be changed. At the time, you obviously disagreed. But after everything you've seen and done, we need to know. What do you believe now? Was he right? Or is it possible to change things? I'll come back for you. You've been very patient with us, and very helpful. Thank you. Yeah, well, that patience is starting to wear pretty thin. Of course. 
right outside. Mr. Joyce. Finally. Thought you wanted to talk, not get my life story. Well, you were at the heart of all of this. And you can understand our need to find out exactly what happened. I heard it's all being pinned on Paul. It's quite the feat. Paul Serene always danced to his own tune, you know that. He and his delusions did tremendous damage to Monarch. But we can still salvage this company. We could use a man like you. It's not the same Monarch you know, Mr. Joyce. Your exceptional qualities are obvious. And we both know you have certain needs our expertise could help with. We can help each other. 